Well, killing off the month of February with a powder day. Going to ride the new Jones Mind Expander. It's a cross between the Hovercraft and the Storm Chaser. Completely new to the line. Not really sure how it's going to ride. I know it's got a shitload of rocker in the nose. We only got a few inches of fresh snow, which is probably why I'm not taking the Lone Wolf out today. Hoping to get a little more snow today. Well, March 1st. Gonna take out the Jones Ultra Craft up to Arapaho Basin, a few inches of fresh snow. Dylan is competing in the US Open, so will not have my roommate to ride with. Dylan, what are you doing today while I go product testing? Gonna go check my meat off 80 foot jumps at the US Open. It's not as fun as it sounds, trust me. Would you be rather snowboarding with me? No. Let's jump! What's it gonna be? Front 10. Oh, oh, unfortunately. And then check this out. The final jump. Front side 1080 tail grab. And hello, knuckle. Oh. Sorry about that, knees. And then yeah, taking that. a page out. This is the new Yes Libre in a 154. It replaces the public. It's kind of the weekend warrior jack of all trades board. It's got their directional volume shift technology. It's new, never ridden it before, I'm heading to Copper today, it's March 2nd. Friday, March 3rd, sunny bluebird skies, decided to take the Project X, the $1,300 snowboard from Jones up. This year, it's been revamped, it's got some lighter fiberglass in it. They're also individually numbering them, as you can see here, this is number 5, so there's only 4 more made before it, which, anyways, took it up and uh, to the basin and had some fun.